whether advertising and the sales are correlated to each other so if i invest so much in marketing advertising what will be my sales and if the say sales are higher then the profits will be higher so these are the concrete situations in business where we can apply statistics and uh, help the respective businessmen in making the decisions whether to go ahead or not so this is how statistics can be applied in business next statistics in economics so statistics are useful in understanding economic problems formulating economic policies such as taxations exports and imports so governments while uh, presenting the budget they announce the different uh, tax slabs uh, whether there is a concession in the tax or not and uh, what are the new tax slabs so before presenting the budget they make sure that they go through the they have all the proper conclusions made using the statistical methods so different economic activities such as uh, exports imports taxation they all are decided by applying the statistical methods to the available data to the government so for that we have econometrics so econometrics is a branch of statistics which deals with application of uh, statistical methods in the field of uh, economics and lastly statistics in the field of science so the physical and the natural sciences like astronomy engineering biometry pharmaceuticals so these all fields make use of statistical methods to solve their respective problems in agricultural sciences statistics are widely used so statistical concepts such as design of experiments are exclusively used in the field of uh, agricultural so there are different uh, blocks and models that are devised and designed to understand the phenomenon in the agricultural science hence there is a famous saying that science without statistics bear no fruit and statistics without sciences has no root so these were some of the important applications and scope of statistics in different fields so now so let us look at some limitations of statistics so statistics has its own advantages but it also comes with a share of limitations so there is a saying that uh, there are lies and there are more lies and then there is a statistics so let us come to that point later let us look at the limitations of the statistics one by one so first limitation is statistics does not deal with individuals so in the definition of professor horace sekrist it was clear that statistics deals with aggregate of facts so you need an aggregate of facts so there is no use if i have a roll number of a single student of a class if i want to analyze the performance of the given class so i need a group of students to study okay so statistics does not deals with individuals so it needs a bunch of facts or a group of facts next second one statistics does not deal with qualitative data so if there is a qualitative aspect in the data then statistics may not be helpful in such cases so if there are vague statements like the population of india has increased considerably during the last few years or the standard of the living of the pop people in delhi has gone up compared to the last year so statements like these do not constitute statistics so statistics cannot be directly used 
for uh, qualitative characteristics such as health beauty honesty intelligence poverty so y- you cannot measure somebody's honesty in terms of numbers you cannot say somebody is 80% honest that means he is 20% dishonest he can do anything so that doesn't make sense here you cannot say uh, somebody is 90% beautiful or 80% beautiful that doesn't make any sense so again uh, beauty is your the perspective of your own mind so what may appear beautiful to you may not appear beautiful to someone else taste so a dish that you might find very tasty the same dish may be hated by your friend or your family members or whatever it is so these are qualitative characteristics intelligence so intelligence again you have iq so you measure the intelligence there but you can't say a person with higher iq uh, is going to achieve greater things in his life whereas a person with lower iq will remain uh, dumb or whatever it is like that only so there are also reverse cases where a person with lower iq Uh, is leading a proper normal and a healthy life whereas a person of a higher iq uh, has made a mess out of his life so these are the qualitative characteristics so these cannot be bracketed in terms of numbers even if you do they still don't make any sense so statistics does not deal with qualitative characteristics next statistical laws are true only on an average so the results given by statistics are not exact they are at the best appropriate so to give you an example here performance of a batsman say you look at the performance of a batsman by looking at his average score so now dhoni has an average score of uh, say 50 so does that imply that he has scored 50 runs in every each and every match no uh, in some matches he might be scoring uh, 150 200 or 100 or 50 96 86 0 10 whatever it is so that number 50 the r- the average 50 is composite of all these numbers so it is an average number it is not true that he has scored 50 in every match so statistical laws are true on an average so you can believe them 50, uh, you can believe them 50% this 50% they might not happen so if they say uh, phenomena is like Uh, rainfall might occur today so it might occur they will see it will they will ne- they will never be sure that it will uh, definitely occur so statistical laws are truly average but they are not exact next only experts can make the best possible use of uh, statistics in the beginning of the video i made a statement there are lies and uh, more lies and then there is statistics so statistics is not useful when you are not a capable person or when you are not a qualified person to handle it so only those who know statistics those who know the importance of tools and techniques in the statistics only they can make the best use of the statistics next fifth point for statistical analysis uniformity and homogeneity of the data is uh, essential so the data if it is heterogeneous in nature so it might be difficult for us to apply statistical techniques and tools and the last limitation is statistics can be misused so we see in our daily in our news channel uh, surveys or in our online shoppings where the price tags are the slashed like whatever they want so uh, there you see that they show some numbers and some percentages and graphs which are not exactly uh, what they appear like so for example let me give an example here uh, if a movie producer says that my movie has earned 100 crore so there is nothing happy to be about that because uh, when a ticket i- costs 100 rupees for you in that 30% of the ticket price goes to the government 30% goes to the d- distributor and the rest 40% goes to the producer so if a producer says that he has earned 100 crores then in hand he has the net amount has 40 crores so he is lying to you that 
he has earned 100 crores. It is a lie. So statistics can be misused like this.